Hello and welcome to Rovers Chat. It's Mark here to discuss the Niall Ennis departure. So it's not a massive surprise to the fan base that Niall Ennis has moved on. It's been rumoured in the last few days, really. He's been linked heavily with Bolton in what looked like a loan deal. That seemingly fell through because Rovers wanted Bolton to commit to buying him if they got promoted. And Bolton were reluctant to do so. Then earlier in, in the last couple of days, we've heard that Barnsley were also interested. But then in the last 12 hours or so of the window, it emerged that Stoke were the front runners. Obviously, Stephen Schumacher is the new manager at Stoke and he worked with Niall Ennis at Plymouth. And if you look at Ennis, it's just not worked out for him at Rovers. He arrived in the summer on a free transfer, having performed pretty well at League One. But all throughout the summer, Yundale Thomason, even with Ennis in the building, talked about his need for an experienced striker. Talked about the need sometimes just for a striker, almost dismissing Ennis's uh, arrival. Then we had the rumours that Ennis, fitness-wise, was nowhere near up to what Thomason wanted. And it came out that he was injured. He didn't get anywhere near the team for a while. Then he picked a knock-up. When he has come in, he looks a little bit off the pace and he's really struggled to get to grips with the way Rovers play. And it just never, ever looked like the right fit for Niall Ennis at Rovers. That said, he's only 24, same age as Samir Talalovic. He's been in League One with Plymouth and did extremely well. And that's usually a path that teams in the Championship go down. They look for somebody in League One who's done well and hopefully they make the step up. He's never really had the chance in terms of first team appearances at Rovers. But that said, it just never, ever, like I've said, looked like a good fit for him. So Ennis moves on and it's not, like I've said, it's not a massive surprise. He's got Sam Gallagher ahead of him. Harry Leonard's been ahead of him. Semir Talalovic has been ahead of him. At times, Tyrese Dolan and Sammy Smodic have been preferred to Ennis up, up front. And there's also strong links with Rovers bringing in another attacker. And that's something Thomason has said. He's clearly not been over enamoured with Ennis's performances in behind closed doors or training. And to that end, a 24-year-old does not want to be sat around you 21s trying to pick up the odd appearance. He needed to move on. I am surprised it's a permanent move, but I do think that's the best for all parties. It never looked like a good fit at Rovers for Ennis. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes to, with Schumacher and rekindles some of that form, but he's certainly not a striker who can play in a high press when he's playing up front on his own. That's not Ennis's game. He's in and around the box where he's quite effective. and You've got to play to his strengths, not fit him into your system, really. So it was just never going to work for him at Rovers. He goes with our, all, all our well wishes. You know, he never kicked up a fuss at the club despite his lack of chances, really. He always gave his all when he was on the pitch. It just, like I've said a few times, it just really wasn't a good fit for him. All the very best at Stoke. Let's hear the Stokes fan reactions. Rovers fans, put your comments in here. Put your comments on Twitter and we'll join the discussion. And you never know, we might be joining you shortly for some more announcements on Transfer Deadline Day. 